there everybody, this is Krista. Oh, welcome back to Crochet Witch Tarot. And today I wanted to get on the, um, I guess you could say trend, <laughs> going around of showing our reading desks. Now, I'm starting this outside because <laughs> we are multitasking. I have to fix my bird feeder pole. It keeps falling over. Uh, don't know why, but I'll figure that out. And then, but I figured this was part of my, I don't know, daily thing. <laughs> I come out and I usually, if I fill, I fill the bird feeders if they need filling, but I give the squirrels sunflower seeds unless I've got some vegetable scraps that are, are squirrel safe. So I'll put you on <laughs> my <laughs> squirrel table. Yes, I am still in my pajamas. Here's today's squirrel haul. They've got celery that is wilting, and could I chop it and freeze it? Yes, but you know, there's just some things that I know I'm not gonna do, so we'll let them enjoy it. And carrot bottoms. <laughs> so we'll put these on the table for them, and they are very cute, and come and eat. Like polite, polite little squirrels off that table. Um, yeah, this is where we're starting, but I will see you again, and I think we're just going to show the whole shebang, the whole room, because it, it all feels like my working space. I read my cards everywhere in my little room, so we're just going to show the whole thing. So I will see you back inside. Okay, so we are back inside, and we are here with, it's really a working room tour, but we won't spend too long, we won't spend too long. Um, it is more organized than usual, so just to say that, it is usually not this neat, and it's not even neat right now, so take that for what you will. Okay, so this is my shelf here of just miscellaneous items. You got a lot of books. Um, I try to keep them kind of in meaningful piles. So those, we got cookbooks over there. Those are cozy mysteries. Um, these are, let me see, I have myself tethered right now to the camera charger because of course why would we pre-plan these things and charge the camera? I don't know. These are kind of like collector's edition books almost. They are made by, they are beautiful first of all. They are printed here in Connecticut, in Norwalk. They are Easton Press books. So the story behind these, if I haven't said, is that someone very randomly donated like whole sets of these books to the library to just go into our sale. These books are worth quite a bit of money, um, but they were in our book sale. so. The adult librarian decided they would just be five dollars each, so I took as many as I could, naturally. Um, over here we've got fiction. I've got my little set of Beatrix Potter little stories. I love those. Um, these are more of my kind of occult type books behind here. We've got herb books, tarot books, my animal speak, absolute favorite. That one comes out all the time. We've got more of them over here as well. And then this is my collection of guidebooks. These are ones that I am not really working with these decks right now, so they stay over here or whatever the heck I'm doing with them. This is my year in the wildwood staying here. Um, I just got this complete Arthurian tarot that I feel like everyone's getting right now because it's so cool and they came out with a new edition. That's um, the box. I just haven't done anything with it yet. Need to put that in my storage. My shipping supplies. This is all the Cottage Witch Oracles I have left right now. Is that not so insane? I can't even believe that still. All right, let's get ourselves tethered again to <laughs> the charger so we don't make this too weird. I've got my coffee table. This is just where everything ends up. <laughs> I was just edging my Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot in black. So that's there. These are the books I am kind of working with right now. 
So the guidebook for the Arthurian tarot, and we've got the Marseille tarot because I'm joining in on a Marseille study this year, which is very exciting. Never thought that's something I would do, but I'm really excited about it. Um, Consorting with Spirit, this is a great one. And then my Encyclopedia of Norse and Germanic Folklore, Mythology and Magic, another good one. And this is just my notebook. Happy notes. <laughs> That's where I just write down um, any sort of like video ideas, random things of that sort. So it just kind of stays here. Um, this is my Arthurian tarot. I just finished the bag for it. And these, oh, these are my new noise canceling headphones. Highly recommend. They are sound core. You can get, these are the, uh, I think they're like Q Life 30 or something. You can get refurbished ones on eBay. Highly recommend. All right, now over in this corner is my <laughs> mishmash of crafting supplies. It's, it, there's a method to this madness, I, I swear. <laughs> I've got this shelf here that keeps all my yarn. I try to keep it kind of color coordinated, if not by like type of yarn. So these first four are for sure color coordinated. And then down here, we just have different types of yarn. That's like a silkier type, extra colors um, that I use often, pretty much for the Cottage Witch bags. And this box down here is all my hand dyed yarn, which I feel like I just need to pull this out this magical box of hand dyed yarn that is, it's a mess. You know, we don't have to talk about that. But such pretty colors in here. My sister got me a new skein for Christmas. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet, but is that not just the most magical pastel ever? It's just, it's so good. It needs like the exact right, right deck to go with that yarn, you know? And then we've got other random things, crochet hooks, <laughs> my markers and such that I don't think you could even see that bathtub over there has charms. This right here, I just put that shelf up. I'm planning on having that be a little display for my inks because yes, I am now, <laughs> I am now also into fountain pens. So that's a new thing. Um, really just not really even the fountain pens, it's the ink. The different ink colors is what excites me. So I'm gonna display them over here. This is my, where I sit most of the time unless Stevie steals my seat. This I have here for Stevie to sit on. Does she ever sit on it? No, of course not. She wants my chair. These are my friends. <laughs> my little friends corner. This here is my little kind of fairy altar space. Oh, she got knocked over. I have been obsessed with these Disney Dorables. They're these little surprise packs. They are so, look at the sparkle. Andy got this one <laughs> in hers and she sent it to me so it could be in my little fairy corner here. Um, this is a postcard Sandy sent me. I just thought it was so cute here. And the new addition is my Magic Mixling, another surprise box toy. I've been just, obsessed with surprise box toys, but you get a little wand. Oh my gosh, I can't. And what they call a magic mixling who lives in this cauldron. So I have this one. And here is its, its magic. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do an overhead view because I guess he's just gonna fall over. Come on. See, it works better if you're holding them, but because it's a magnet that does it. Oh boy. Sorry, little mixling. There we go. It changes faces. So cute. We're gonna leave him out. I forget, they do have names and I'm not remembering what it is, but they're so cute. So the fairy altar over here, we've got my little friend, <laughs> her name is Laurel. She's in a, a new outfit and it is so cute. Look at these shoes. Oh my gosh. 
little cat ears. I have headphones like that too. So cute. And this is the stand Paul made for her. Amazing. This is my arrow garden. So I've been growing herbs in here that I then dry and I'll use them either for spell work or teas or, you know, things of that sort. Shelf. <laughs> without much purpose here. This is my deck storage. Disregard behind it, that is my like filming supplies that just gets shoved back there. So I keep pretty much all of my decks in here. If I'm not like actively working with them or like I don't use them for a specific purpose, they live in here. So that's what we have going on in that bench except these little randos because they're just these are both square decks and <laughs> the boxes are so chunky because the decks are kind of like a chunky size so I'm not exactly sure how I want to they just take up too much space in here so they they kind of sit out ready ready to play which is is fine it is what it is I've got this new little altar space here actually this table used to be in the corner with my craft supplies, but I took it out to be this sort of seasonal altar. I've been working a lot with sort of this crone dark mother energy, so that's what we have going on here. And then underneath, I'm keeping the decks that I'm using alongside this work. So I've got the, this is the Wisdom of the Kaliak. We've got the Weaver's Oracle. These are the main ones I've been working with over here, but I do also have the Witch's Wisdom. I've not really been using it for this kind of work. It's one that I just kind of, I feel like it's a spiritual work kind of deck, so I leave it out. Uh, but honestly, it's, I'm not exactly sure, sure about that one. I heard, I think it was on Kyra Getchell's channel, she mentioned that she heard somewhere that they're coming out with a smaller size of it. If that happens, I'm entirely going to get that version, because it's a deck I really think I could bond with. It's just that the cards are so big, honestly. I don't know. I've not quite figured that one out. But then we've got the Tarot de St. Croix, the She-Wolf Tarot, and Tarot Avatara. I really love using these three decks together, actually. They just... They pack quite the punch. I've got guidebooks here, and then I've got for Hoxa, which is another one I'm playing around with for spiritual work and my Mother Mary Oracle. So that's what exists over here. I guess it might make sense to go to the other altar space before we go to my just kind of true reading desk. We'll see if Stevie wants to say hi. You want to say hi? Oh my goodness, are you the cutest? See, she just wants to be in my chair. <laughs> this is where I always sit. I've got my tea currently going over there. This bathtub with just my scissors, little fidgets, glue, and of course we need Kit Kats, apparently. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the... <laughs> if you're ever curious of what I'm doing in the mornings and or evenings, it's sitting here with my iPad watching YouTube videos and crocheting. <laughs> I am watching um, Fox Fleur Creek's Nina, her latest video, the At Present, which I love these videos she makes, so I was excited to see another one of those. Anyway, to the other altar space. I'm out of breath today. Boy, oh boy. Pausing for a second. A lot of talking I'm doing, huh? This is new, so. This here is a teacup display, actually, but I got it for 20 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace near my sister's in New Jersey, meaning she picked it up for me <laughs> when I was going to visit. But it is just the coolest thing. So I really just kind of keep a random assortment of just trinkets that I like. So as you'll see, there's a lot of Funkos. Um, extra cards and postcards that come with decks. I've got that right there is the painting that Sandy made for me, which I love. Um, 
I've got my skulls that I have here. So I've got my crow, skunk, and raccoon over there. My crystal skull. I love that guy. Yeah. Oh, and my little, look at my little bee gnome. Isn't he cute? And up there I've got my magician painting. Um, that's from Michael's. It's like a little plastic antlered skull in a, <laughs> in a little case that I like. Um, my sister painted that blue bird and I've got another blue bird. Yeah, that's what's going on there. And then this is my main altar space. This is kind of my like animal natural world. Um, I do a lot of work with Ellen of the Way, so I've got her statue there. But going on right now is my animal of the month is Toad. So I've got my little Toad <laughs> figures and I pulled out the cards I have that are Toads. And what I've been doing is making myself a spread to go along with the animal of the month. This is my, my first time doing it. Um, it's a new thing I added this year, so I made a spread at the beginning of the month, and I pulled from the Hush Tarot, which I really enjoyed. Um, now we're kind of at the midpoint of the month. I All month I've been just spending time with toad energy, learning about toads, especially one species that would be in my area. And so I would like to create a second spread for myself at this midpoint of the month, but we shall see how that goes. Um... Yeah, so that's what's going on here. I've got my fairies oracle there. Oh, and then the other big thing is my walk in the wildwood cards live here. So I just switch them out when they change, but I like to have them out so I can see them all the time and kind of be reminded of, of just what's going on <laughs> this time of month. This is another <laughs> Disney adorable. Oh, it's the ant from Bugs Life. So he just, he's living here right now. Love him. And I think that's all I have to say about that. Under here is kind of my, mm, like, magical supplies. So we've got, like, an apothecary going. These are all herbs. Not all. Mostly, though, herbs that I dried or collected in some certain fashion. I grew a chamomile. But harvesting the flowers, it like feels like you don't get that much, but that's okay. I'm not one for chamomile tea, so I don't really use it for that. Uh, candles, I've got my candle bin there, and then these are all my spread cloths. So that's what lives underneath here. And then moving along, we've got, here is, we're going to untether ourselves and see what happens. Okay, this is my main reading desk. So I do most of my readings at this desk here. It is a, um, I don't know, vintage, I guess you could say, secretary desk. I got it on Facebook Marketplace, so anything about it, I just do not know. But this is where I do my readings. I got this stool separately, also on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, I think from the same guy, two different occasions. <laughs> his name's Bob. He is lovely. Um, he just collects things in his retirement, and we love that for him. Over here, I've got another little altar space up here. This one is for the Black Madonna, so that's what's going on there. And on this shelf, which is right, right within arm's length, this is a new thing I've added. It holds the tarot decks I'm working with for the month, which really has been working for me because I realized that the decks that... I have the hardest time bonding with are not Oracle, it's Tarot. So this month, for the first time, I tried out just picking out the Tarot decks for the month. And then I did pull out some Oracle decks, which actually are right over here. I pulled out Oracle decks that I thought would work really well just in this crib here. So I, I pretty much have just been picking from these Oracles, but... If I pick different ones that are like, you know, in my storage bench, that's fine. Oracle decks I bond with very easily because they're all different for the most part. These are decks that are either newer to me or, again, I just haven't been bonding with, so I keep them out in this little <laughs> reindeer basket slash next to it so that I see them and use them. Or they're ones that, like, I need to make a bag <laughs> for that deck. It's just naked on the floor. Um, and then this is the guidebooks 
for the decks I have pulled out that I've been working with. So let's continue over here, why don't we? Let's see if I can make this, oh, I can't make it reach. Okay, we're gonna see how I can keep my camera plugged in before we continue. Okay, so I've got the desk all opened up. This kind of desk is definitely ideal for me because again, I'm sure <laughs> to many of you this room looks cluttered, but this is neat right now. Usually I am, I am a just not organized person. So if I had a regular desk, it would just fill up with stuff. So, I mean, part of the reason I wanted this is just because aesthetic. Am I right? I mean, they're pretty. Um, but the other reason was that because I knew I'd want to close it up when I was done using it, I just, I don't know, since it's supposed to close, that is just a thing in my brain I want it to close when, when I'm not using it. So, I knew I wouldn't let this get cluttered with stuff, so I'd always have a clear surface to read on because you can't have stuff on it to close it, you know? This is dirty right now, so we're just, we're not gonna talk about that. It's okay, we'll clean it. So in here, I've got some supplies back there. I've got a little cauldron, which is actually just a mini cast iron pot. So there's my hack for you. You don't have to get any sort of possibly overpriced cauldron. You can go to <laughs> Goodwill or Home Goods and get a mini cast iron pot. There's my hot tip. I don't actually know if cauldrons are expensive. I've never gotten one, so disregard that. Um, my pendulum. And then I've got a mortar and pestle back here. This is a little figure of my spirit guide that my friend Matt made for me. It's so cool. He makes the coolest figures. Um, he draws the heads and then makes the bodies out of napkins. I have another one over here that is the goddess Arian Rod. Isn't that neat? I just think they're so cool. Um, anyway, so I've got this candle here. This was just a beeswax taper, but I light this every time I'm doing a reading just as a way to kind of like set the scene and feel like I am inviting whatever messages I need to invite in, in. My incense tray, again, it's dirty. I burn a lot of incense, so that is just going to happen. This I've got, it is a little selenite crystal ball that I really love. Um, I like keeping this here because selenite is such a cleansing stone. So it kind of feels like it is keeping this just energetically cleansed without me having to do anything about it. <laughs> and this is actually a uh, candle holder that I took the candle off of because it just fit. It fits so perfectly. I've got some labradorite. This is a piece of raw uh, lapis, pretty sure. Yes. I've got a little iron key that I got from the antique store next to the library. I love old keys, but that one is my favorite, so it stays on my desk there. I've got a little bowl filled with, these are all the <laughs> candlesticks I have recently burned down. I don't really know why I'm saving them. This is like just one of those weird things where it feels like I should save them. I might end up melting them all down together and perhaps, you know, making them into a new candle. That could be something, but for now, they just kind of live there. On this shelf, I keep oracles that I use all of the time. So they're just like the oracles I want to have readily available to me. Um, yeah, that's the only explanation I have about that. So I've got, this is my Cottage Witch Oracle we keep there. Um, let's not have that near where flames go. I should tie that up. <laughs> I've got the embroidered graveyard, coastal curiosities. Then I have my reclaim oracle, which is one that I don't necessarily use all of the time, but since I changed the setup and started keeping decks here, it just felt like it wanted to be there. It, it I don't know. And honestly, I do use it a lot now that it is just out. I think it just was one of those decks that 
it just needed that that switch up. Let's move that. This is my I always forget the name of you. Um Oh my gosh, it's the Deviant Moon one. This one, what are you called? The only thing about this desk is that this like naturally slants down so things slide. Oh my gosh, that's gonna bother me. We will look that up. We will look that up in a second. <laughs> Cause I need to know, I constantly forget. But that is the Deviant Moon like little oracle, whatever. This is my Memento Mori here. And then of course, my Woodland Wardens. So I really do like having this kind of setup here of the oracles I use most often, especially for readings for myself because, I don't know, I just like having them to grab quickly. Because if I'm doing readings for other people, I kind of like to intuitively pick out decks. And so it's not always necessarily a deck I use all of the time. Um, so these are really just like personally for me, I use them all the time. And then up here, I've got my notebooks. So this is sort of a kind of one I use for any sort of like spiritual, personal growth work. Just kind of a catch-all, sort of a notebook. This is, oop, sorry for that noise. This one is what I'm using right now for the monthly medicines that Dawn Michelle does in her channel membership, the weavers so she does a monthly sort of like prompt led practice which is really cool so that's a notebook i use for that and this one is a new notebook edition is this not the cutest thing it's got gnomes and like gardens it's so cute and i put my little oh gosh and thorn lover sticker on there this is what i'm using right now for the um Hollow Quest from the Arthurian Tarot, which I have not started. It officially starts on March 30, uh, no, 21st. So with the spring equinox. And I want to keep with the dates because that'll help me stick with it more. But I've just been doing the, um, I started by, look what I did. So this is the front. I've done two days of this now because I got it like three days ago. I've been doing that three card spread you can do on the daily. So... This is the front. This is day two. You want to see where I did day one? Uh, I don't know how I did that. I mean, is that not insane? <laughs> oh well. That's okay. So that's that. And then this is my Owl and Bones Tarot Journal, which I'm doing in a hard copy for the first time this year, and I've been loving it. So have that. I put my little Coastal Curiosity stickers on there. And then Temperance is my card of the year. So I found that sticker and put it on. I use this little uh, bookmark that Sandy sent me. Isn't that so cute? So yeah, that is that. I've been really liking having the hard copy of it because then I can really start my morning um, without being on my phone or iPad at all until like I'm done with my reading. That's kind of what I've been liking to do. So that's what I've been doing. We're gonna untether ourselves and hope hope that's okay with this camera <laughs> while I get in a little closer here. This is one of my fountain pens. I really love this one. It was pretty inexpensive off of Amazon. I think $17. Um, I also have a... Oh my gosh, what is the brand on that pen? I got it on the Goulette website. Gosh darn it. The pen I showed probably in my December favorites. I think I left it at work though. Um, which also is not inexpensive, but this was even a little bit cheaper and I like this one more. So I'll try and find the name of that, but that is my pen I've been using for journaling. This here is my Old Ways Magic. I've been pulling a card to keep out just whenever it feels right, whenever it feels like it needs a switch. Um, this is very much inspired by Thea at Garden Goddess Tarot. She posted a picture on her Instagram. I don't know when, but I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that is like a genius way to use this oracle to just have one out as an energy. And this is my card of the month. I've been pulling it from the Pythonic Tarot. So that is the lovers. It's my card of the month. I've got my prized crystal. <laughs> this is my moss agate fairy 
Um, I've just got some other assorted crystals and a pine cone here. I love this fairy stone because it kind of looks like a little figure. Um, this is where I keep my incense. We are down to the last stick, so I gotta open a new pack. And then, these are the two decks I use most for spiritual work, just in general. So this is my Gaian Tarot, which I was lucky enough to find a copy of the Llewellyn edition for, I think like, gosh darn it, it happened. The camera died. <laughs> That's okay, we're tethered again. What I was saying is I was lucky enough to find a copy of the Llewellyn edition for like, it probably came out, you could only buy it in a duo with a vintage mother piece, but for both I paid $50, so technically we got it for $25. So I would recommend anyone who is looking for this edition, I know it goes out there for crazy prices, but I would save a search on eBay and just kind of check. Like for this tarot specifically, but also just for like tarot in general and just kind of search around because I got this for, again, technically $25, but then my friend Andy just got a copy too. And I think, I want to say she maybe spent like 30 bucks. So I'm just saying, just saying, putting that out there. And then alongside it, I've really been enjoying using the Celtic Spirit Oracle. Both of these are really like my recipe right now for my main spiritual practice. So I like to keep those up there. And then last but not least, oh, I keep my herbs driving over there, which I just kind of like that it's nearby. That's an aside. I also keep a bunch of like tarot mail extras up there, which is fun. That's my little Krampus that <laughs> Andy got me. Um, and then this is my new, my new addition to the wall. I put this up maybe two days ago. Um, I had this little shelf already that wasn't on the wall anymore. It was. I don't know where or what replaced it. But I saw it the other day and was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect to display my Lenormand decks because now I went from, ooh, we are getting weird lighting from that window, from having one to now I've got a proper little collection. And I use them if I put them in with my like tarot storage, then I just like will never read with Lenormand kind of thing. But if I see it, I use it all the time. So I keep all my Lenormand decks right there. And I just feel like I love this little collection I have. It's so cute. And then my Pythonic tarot is just sitting right there. Cause I like to use that one a lot as well. And also trying to get to know it. That's the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I think that is all I have to show. Hopefully this wasn't, all over the place or I didn't make anyone nauseous by like swinging this around too much. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing the space. I've been loving watching these videos and other than that, I will see you all again very soon.